I just told Mark, that's not fair. I knew I'd have trouble being up here, and uh, that makes it even tougher. I thought I was going to come up here and wing it, but uh, that's not going to work. I do have some notes. I'll keep it short. <laughs> and if I use notes, then I have to use my glasses. So I'm going to embarrass myself all the way around. So I'll put my glasses on, and I'll read, or at least I'll look. And this first one says, Julie Burgess, you're the greatest. <laughs> it said, thanks for your patience and understanding. And it's from my wife to Julie. <laughs> but I agree with her. Uh, I know we don't have much time. Our student athletes have got to get back to study and get ready for tomorrow's game or the next day's event. Uh, I never thought, standing in front of a group like this, I wished I had more time. Most of the time, like all of us sitting there, if you gave us two minutes, it'd be 30 seconds too long. Uh, but if I had more time, I'll tell you what I'd do. I would read off the name of every member of our team. I feel strongly, I guess you've heard it, I don't need to say this, I feel so strongly about the team. Feel that, you know, an individual like, like me or Clinton Jones, Gene Washington, some of the other members of the team that have been inducted in the hall couldn't have done it without the whole team. You guys know that, all of you that have been involved in athletics know that. And I'm amazed and impressed with how many of our individual athletes who went out on the map by themselves, went into the woods on the cross country course by themselves, still remark about the team and how important the team was. Our national championship team grew from a team to a family. That was over 50 years ago and we're still a family. As I think it said, I grew up in Michigan, uh, went to high school in Michigan, went to college in Michigan, got a job in Michigan. Now I'm retired and living in northern Michigan. I've been a Spartan all my life. I'm a Spartan for life. Now, if I could speak just for a moment with our student athletes, well, I do want to congratulate the other members of the uh, this Hall of Fame class. It's been really a pleasure for me to, uh, to meet some new people, some of the folks uh, I had met when I was a student here. But uh, it, it's great. You guys are great. Congratulations. Congratulations to our student athletes. Uh, you'll get your jackets tonight. President Simon gave you a lecture. I'm going to give you another lecture. And all I want to say is the same thing she said. Wear it proudly, wear it with pride, and don't ever, ever do anything to disgrace it. Your time here at Michigan State is going to go by much faster than you believe. Right now you're bogged down with practice, schoolwork, lots of pressure, lots of things. Speaking from experience, it'll be gone like that. My advice is work hard, study hard, but enjoy every minute of it. It's been over 50 years since I last played uh, here at Michigan State. And there's one more thing I'd like to share with you. And, and it's valuable. I don't know if I can get it out just exactly right, but my advice is don't ever do anything as a student athlete on the field or off that will, cause, will cause you to regret it. Now what I mean by that is if you give your best effort all of the time, the results may not be what you like, whether it be team or individually related, but effort 
is what you must give, and if you can give effort every time, then you, like me, can spend the rest of your life with no regrets. I can sleep at night. I didn't always win. I didn't always perform well. Our teams didn't always win. We didn't always perform well. But speaking only for myself, it was never, ever due to lack of effort. And don't, don't do that to yourself. It's a long, long time to regret. This might be the toughest part for me. Uh, you already met some of my family, my two sons, and some of their families were in the, in the video. And when you're my age, uh, some of the most important part, people in your life are no longer with us. Uh, I can't dwell on that. But I would like to thank the whole gang of Judas who are here. Uh, I would ask them to hang, hold up their hands, but you couldn't see them anyway. But, you know, <laughs> my kids, my grandkids, my brothers, nieces, nephews, friends, uh, they're all here. Thank you. I love you.